All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Four Rooms campaign. I'm here with Chewie, Quagasol, and Corbett. Hey, hey, how's hello. it going? What's popping? I mean, that's that's a uh, that's Corbett's thing. <laughs> Once again, he's stealing the line. I don't know. Corbett I kind of officially owned by the Portuguese. Nice. Ooh. No, he just took it. Only Portugal. Just took it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he restored Scotland as well. That's true. He said freedom. <laughs> Such an iconic movie. One of the all-time greats, IMO. It's a good movie. It's very inaccurate, but it's a good movie. Oh, I don't care about accuracy. Hey, we see John Weimar. No Republic here. <laughs> All right. So, I was telling guys, between the episode, I can't figure out. We're we're starting a new recording session, and I can't figure out why I was in this war. But then I realized I, it's a cover war for coring. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Just HRE things. Oh yeah. Oh, I got ride victoriously, or what's ride forth victoriously? Is that the name of the song? That's one oh, of the best so, base yeah. game songs. It is uncontested. Well, it's guns. Guns, drums, and steel, but it is my favorite. Oh, yeah, it's not base game, is it? Not technically, but I mean, yeah. it's like a $2 DLC. I, 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 R, C. I've had it for so long. I just, it's just, oh, yeah, I bought it on release. You, it's yeah. like you're telling me I can also, listen to rock from and roll. A person who picks through the game files, it's in the base game music folder, which is kind of weird. Oh, yeah, they might have made it free. Uh, no, it's not in the. There are other things that are in DLC music folders. Ah, so I've actually, I've actually had issues with that, like looking to find music for videos. Yep. Yeah, it's and I don't know where it is. <laughs> I compiled them all. I need I can, to do that. I can show you later, dude. I cannot wait. Is, is, uh, they they just like slap all the DLC stuff on like when you download it, and then they unlock it through DLC, but. Ah, yeah, it's all in the base true. game. Okay. Yeah. But no, there, there are other folders of stuff from like World Britannia is in another different folder. I think yeah, it's just some like... spaghetti code stuff, honestly. Yeah. It's... <laughs> just a little bit it's of spaghetti. So what's everybody's plans for today? Oh, I see Poland's being sieged down again. Yeah, I'm partitioning Poland. Rip nice. Poland. I'm, insane. I'm going to... Definitely stomp down on the steps today. That's my uh, primary goal for the day. I want to take control of the, the, the new world. Ooh. Ooh. Some spicy new world. That's free real estate. I might reestablish the team system today. There you go. Geneva or Genoa. All right, Austria. That's on you, baby. France is, it, is 18. 18? Apparently likes me. Why does he like me? I still don't understand how he lost Scotland. That was this campaign, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Somehow the English beat them in a war. war. I missed the province. I'm so sad. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, let me tell you. That is so disappointing. <laughs> no, you, you should leave that until the end of the game. Just to, well, like, get people really agitated. I need it for missions. Oh, that's true. I get like a ten per- I get like a ton of permanent claims if I take that province. <laughs> How do you rename uh, provinces again? You just click on their name when you in the province. Oh, in the province. Oh wait, menu. maybe we can't. Is it turned off? No, you can. I can oh right, just... you have to own it. I was clicking on one I didn't own because I'm a dumb. Yeah, I'm a dumb. You dumb. have to own it. You should be able to give provinces outside your borders nicknames or something, so mm -hmm. you can see them that way. But oh, dude, I remember. I think this was before you came into the picture, Quag. But I had a my first community MP. I was 
um, who was I? I was the Ottomans. Because that was before I knew it was a jerk move to play as the Ottomans in MP. Nice. And um, nobody said anything because it was my server. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but I had some provinces, um, or the Dutch had some provinces that bordered Prussia, and Prussia named a bunch of his provinces like "I will kill you, Dutch man," like all the way down the border. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Super BM. Oh, it was so funny, man. That was Lawrence that did that. Uh, regular in the Discord MPs. Yeah, he's a regular on mine as well. It's all fun in games to rename provinces until they start, like, renaming them really bad things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. None of that. So I could feed Finland a little bit if I wanted to. Austria only has 16,000 men. What the heck, man? I am losing a ton of money, and I don't know why. Yeah, I'm losing 10 ducats a month. Oh, I have two level three advisors, but they're both half off, so <laughs> kind of have, have to. Massive corruption. Feels nice. Yeah, I'm over here running level ones. But I also have 16 ducats net that I'm trying to just save up. Build a bunch of buildings. Okay. Because the soldier houses are like super important in this patch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Soldier households. Ooh. I love soldier households so much. I also need governing capacity because Prussia things, but I'm good right now. Why does Bohemia own Krakow? I'm personally yes. offended. I'm going to kill these rebels to inherit their siege. I actually kind of like the uh, the fact that, well, I, I, I can't say that I like it in character, but I kind of like the fact that Byzantium has Bessarabia and there's, there's, there's already border disputes forming naturally and that's how, exactly how it should be. Uh, yes, uh, totally for the role play. That's, that's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> this boy really took Bessarabia to piss me off. <laughs> Well, if you didn't say anything, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> well, guess I'll just have to take it. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Yeah. I love how long it takes for a month to go by. Yeah, it's also the longer you play MP, the slower it seems to go. Wait, what? Why does it say Byzantium is no longer a valid rival? Paradox, please. What know. are you talking about? He's got a large chunk of his dev in Hungary. He's number yeah, three world power. Enough. Yeah, you should, it's his uh, tech. He hasn't embraced tech. He'll be uh, oh, yeah. again once he embraces tech. In my opinion, I would, I would, I would think. You boy just don't have that tech. Ain't got no tech. Feels bad. Broke boy. <laughs> I just see an offer of knowledge coming from Fish. Yeah. Why not? Because <laughs> I pretty much have it in my, my capital. I just, I'm missing like those two provinces wouldn't be done in time. <laughs> Worth a shot. It's like three provinces. Yeah, it would be like three provinces, but like total like 15 dev. Time to uh, start eating these hordes over here. I called dibs, so they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to give it to me. If you don't honor the dibs, you are uh, the worst kind of person, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of free real estate over here in Poland. Poland Mazzovia's is just free real estate. That's I was gonna say, mazovi has got a bunch of claims everywhere. too. That's free real estate. <laughs> I love that. That's just such a good phrase. You know, it's free real estate. 
And the funny thing is, Masovia has no like mission tree or anything. He's just like super anxious to expand and is making those claims on his own. Well, do you have him marked as hostile, I assume? Nope. Oh, really? We were rivals at some point and he just really went ham. Whack. Ooh, Ostracon has a. Oh, it's. Never mind. I waited too long. He took Lans Lanshut. Lanshut. This is why I make subjects that are relatively far away from me. They, the enemy goes and sieges them down and they don't mess with you. Dude, I love it. But the thing is, is then it's very annoying because it seems like those provinces end up being worth like incredible amount of war score, even though it's like seven dev. Yeah. Well, it's because there's a capital involved usually. Yeah. Their level one capital fort gets sieged down. Infuriating. That's good stuff. 8k of Brunswick just attacked 14k of the Bohemians and they won. Yikes. Oh, it's the mountains. Oh, it's defensive in the mountains. Okay. I understand now. I was like, that's unreasonable. Also, Poland is running around with... Oh, it showed it as mostly Cav. That's not true. Ooh, Albania looks like they might want to pee you. Hmm. That's <laughs> might be worth a uh, worth Albania? a shot. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold he's twenty four. <laughs> I don't think he's looking for a pu. It's free real estate. <laughs> Maybe in a hundred years. Oh, I have to go kill the Pope. A rip. I'm not Catholic. Kind of need my king to die. Drill, baby, drill. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. That might pull the pope off of that other fort. Yep. I have a reasonable understanding of the mechanics of this game. <laughs> When in doubt, just head fake them. Nah, I won the battle, and it pulled them in a way that I wanted it to. Ooh, I think I caught the Mamlux off a uh, mothball fort. Nice. Love it. You'll love to see it happen. I did that. Uh, I was recording my Albania campaign, and I did that. Like, I, I attacked somebody, and I had guys on the border, and I was like, all right, cool, so let's head on up to their capital. And it's like, oh, wait, there's literally just a random... Fort over here that's mothball. Yeah. <laughs> like I found it's it by accident. Real estate. Yeah, super nice. I loved it. Oh, I can just march to Rome. Dude, boys, I love vassals so much. No, oh, like God, they, yes. Oh, I don't like I get so irritated Especially when people when you make them useful. Oh, and people like are like mid game why, here. Why would you make vassals, dude? Like, why don't you just take the land yourself? I'm like, first of all, it's low dev. <laughs> So it doesn't serve me to have low dev, high... Um, They'll get more use out of high it. High autonomy, low dev, no yeah. purpose, government yeah. well, capacity taken up. They get up. expand power, they get base money, there's... Well, I remember a Roomba, a Roomba had a video oh, yeah. where he was explaining it. it all down. And I was like, like dude, dumb. this is you so... You don't use you're dumb. I just well, don't know how to say it. <laughs> Uninformed, I think, is, is a better term, but... Yeah, yes. that's fair. But not like... Uh, it's the, the basic idea is you're using both your admin points and your diplo points to expand. Why just use one? Exactly. And they generate points for you. Basically. Yeah, they generate their own more than just the base three. On everything. So they dev it up as well. Mm -hmm. It's all kinds of reasons. All kinds. I'm only one admin tech behind <laughs> now. But I'm about to eat large swaths of Poland and Bohemia, so <laughs> about to stay behind for a little while longer. <laughs> yeah. You know, look Actually, at like vassals, so it should be fine. Oh, Ming finally embraced institution? No, he's just on four he's on thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, but he's paying two two hundred and twenty-five percent more. Nice. The mandate is Gosh. broken. <laughs> 
This dude is 125 years behind on tech and still like going strong and still could like, you know, pound for pound hang, yeah. hang with us. That's wild. Uh, I don't know if you could fight very well, though. That not mandate's anymore. not looking so high. Oh, yeah, no. He's going up 0.27, though. That's dang. That's I good for AI. I can't even see anywhere close to China. I, China. China. I can see the capital in like. Yeah, Hong same. I, yeah, same. I see Canton and Beijing. Lost Ooh. the Siege of Novgorod. Nani! I hate when they just march like one Go little ten stack into my find deep it. into the bowels of my nation. And I don't even realize it. Uh, Hopefully, they force Brunswick to annul trees with me. I would be okay with that. Let's keep resetting their movement. Oh my gosh, it takes so long to walk across Siberia. <laughs> These provinces take like two months to walk through. <laughs> march, please come faster. Free force march. Oh. See, I don't even usually do that one. I usually, well, I do, but like, I usually faster. gun gun it for Napoleonic Warfare because that's the most yeah, overpowered. Oh, it's, so yeah. useful. it's the most overpowered uh, thing in the game. Oh, yeah. You can knock Sometimes down. Sometimes we'll grab uh, unrestricted core, but yeah, that can be situationally very useful. Yeah, that's a situational one. The Napoleonic Warfare is always useful. IMO. Well, especially in most single player games, you're going to have a lot of cannons floating around. Just stack like 50 cannons on a fort. Yeah, and you get like massive bonuses. You can knock yeah. down level like ones and twos within a month. Just not even thinking about it like it was a regular province. Yeah, man. That's what it's about. Uh, let's carp just boy. Aw, I was hoping I would sack Rome. <laughs> <laughs> that would have gotten you a whole bunch of cash. Yeah. That's an interesting right. mechanic. I love it, though. I'm glad they put it in, but they need to fix it that you're oh. like you raise your own provinces when you win sieges back. That always it happens, triggers me. It happens every once in a while. It triggers I've me sacked, so hard. I've sacked my own province many times. Yeah, sack your own capital. It's like, it's like yeah. really? One of that. Well, yeah, like it's, a, it's it's somewhat reasonable, I think, because that's that was not like an official thing. The army would just go kind of crazy and do that on their own. And it was yeah, modern, just like, right, I'm a more uh, professional armies that kind of put the kibosh on that. That was very normal in like Roman times. That you would sack any city that you took. In a pair of Rome, it's done really well where every city's in flames when you see it. <laughs> nice. like oh, wow. The visual effect on it, too. I have 133% overextension. I uh, did not think that one through. Yikes. Big yikes. I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> Big yikes. And I have no admin. And I have an admin idea group. <laughs> Extra oof. That's Mistakes were made. Ah, oh, I love CBs that have no diplo cost for taking extra land. Feels good. Mistakes were definitely made on this one. Hey, Problems in the proclaim Russian Empire, my friends. Problems. Problems you get in the through proclaim. it. Revoke embargo. The Jigalians can die penniless and alone. Hey, I finished a, a mission tree. Oh, France. France is going to war in Mexico. Are you kidding me right now? That's my job. <laughs> and I'll use this opportunity to break my lines with them. Why not? Are you going to attack France? At some point. Okay. Yeah, it, it, Let me know because I have that alliance with them. So. You can just attack them. You're good. <laughs> I'll just take a like eight stab hit by breaking tree since royal marriage and all that other good stuff. Yeah. <laughs>
I have a 75% chance to gain progress towards Rebels each month. Nice. Nice. Now that is impressive. <laughs> That's like Fall of the Roman Empire type deal. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm just provoking all, right. all the rebels. Oh my gosh, not the not the particularists, please. Oh, no, not the particularists, please. <laughs> so infuriating. I hate those rebels. Let me see. If, uh, oh, it's only 10k. Uh, okay. In my Finland campaign, I had rebels, the particularists one, but they were always in South Africa. <laughs> yeah, they dude. Were only I, in South Africa. <laughs> it's infuriating, though. It's infuriating because then yeah. you have to ship your men all the way down there, or then you have like, I remember I had court and country, and I had like rebels on one random province in the middle of nowhere, and I'm like, yeah, you got to be kidding me, man. Yeah, it sucks when you get like all those little islands as well, and yeah. you just get a random rebel, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna send a fifty stack of boats out there, and it's gonna take a year and a half. And then it's weird when like you conquer. Britain, like random isles from Britain in like East Africa, but then they like develop their own group of rebels. Yeah, I don't even know how that works. They don't have cores there, but like I guess culture just yeah, makes culture it happen. Will do it. And if they take it, they'll get a core. Yeah. Oh, they sunk my navy. They sunk my battleship. Amlock fleet is like super spread out. Like they have one in like every single coast I have. One ship. Just one. Nice. They're going for the blockade efficiency. I guess so. I just got a I'm six six that. five conquistador for free. That is juicy. Oh, look at all these rebels. <laughs> so annoying, dude. Luckily, one of them's on a fort, so. He's got about 20k that I can see. <laughs> no, 30k. Oh, yo, they're sieging wow. his capital down. Let's get over here. Oh, I'm gonna go okay. back to drilling. 28% chance that I attack them. Oh, it's grassland, so it doesn't even matter. Rip the Mamluks. Yikes. That's a big battle right there. And I won. Ooh. Nice. Lost 13,000 good men that day. Oh, uh, yeah. If I just, uh... Yeah, boy. Somebody's scheming over there. <laughs> just don't worry about Memlux. He just rivaled me. Because you knocked him down far enough. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've been above him for a while. He told me that I have an extra colonist available, but tell him you send it. Nice. Send it? Is it because the province already has somebody heading there? Because that will no. happen. Uh, I realized that it, I was looking at merchants, not colonists. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, merchant, do an extra job here. And yeah, they're not working hard enough already. Yeah, I don't want you doing merchant stuff. Go do colonial stuff. Oh, Denmark still has Sweden. I thought he yeah. was independent. Yeah, that's pretty rare. Well, when you rip all of Finland out of Sweden, I guess it's easier for him to be kept. <laughs> I guess so. Nah, that would be too aggressive. Sixty-nine war score to make Serbia a vassal. Nice. Nice. Take a chance. Why not? I've got Diplo ideas. I can break marriages. Mm. 
<laughs> my estates want me to own everything in Crimea. I don't think that's nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's 25 for us, so you want to sign yep. us off, Icepire? Yeah, well, that does it for this uh, episode of The Four Realms, and uh, join us next time. Hey, later, boys. Uh, see ya. Bye-bye. A huge special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon, Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Drunk Binary, Some Kind of Meme, Valentel, Jaron Clampett, Corbett Gaming, Home TV, RJ Pilot, Callus Cassowary, The Bitter Steel, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the videos linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.